Hey y'all, welcome into the channel. I had to go ahead and turn the camera on because the divine is already talking to me. Um, so basically, I'm going to clear this and talk to y'all. Um, the divine has just told me that basically it's going to be like coming up for air for the first time. Okay? It's going to be like coming up for air for the first time. So it's like you've been in this fluid or water-like energy. And it's like all of a sudden, <gasps> you're going to be taking your breath. Okay? You must have some skills. Some of you out there are some swimmers. You have the ability, a diver possibly. You hold your breath for a very long time. Whoa. Okay, hold on. They like, no need to put them back up there, sis. You're going to use them again. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's see who's here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, give me clear and precise messages for my peeps. This is going to be the reading for Wednesday. I don't know why I want to say Wednesday, even though it's Wednesday. Okay, so here we go. So the divine has told me to tell you that you need to begin automatic writing. All right. <clears throat> Spiritual bells, excuse me. Dang. Um, I, as of lately, have been doing a whole lot of writing, y'all. I keep my pen and pad with me anyway. But, like, sometimes stuff doesn't come through. Um, but as of lately, uh, it's been a lot of communication coming through. I'm just lighting our sage up, okay? Y'all, welcome into the channel if you're new. And welcome to all the returning subscribers, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all are my booze. Let me tell y'all who go hard for us, okay? Y'all are my y'all are my soul tribe members, okay? Here, but let me tell you who goes hard for us in the in on the team or in the crew, okay? Um, out of the subscribers, y'all, Ophiuchus goes so hard, y'all. Shout out to any Ophiuchuses that are in here, y'all go so hard. Let me tell you, okay? Something about that reading that I did so hard, um, is very significant to your reading i did a reading recently and it's called so hard okay something about that energy could be shining through and this energy in this space i just felt a really calming sensation come over me i don't know if it's because i lit that sage or what y'all might need to light your sage sage your home okay um something like that all right Y'all, I'm going through my closet this weekend. I'm going to be donating a bunch of stuff, getting rid of stuff that does not fit, doesn't that I don't wear, that I didn't wear last year. I feel like if I haven't worn it in the past year and it's relatively new and it's not like one of my vintage items um, that don't go out of style or something like that, then I'm going to get rid of it. I'm ready. I'm ready for new. I'm ready for God to bless me with new. Okay, there's that vibe there. All right, yeah. Y'all heard that song by Ty Tibbet? Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, that mug goes so hard. I feel like I need to post that on Wednesday. I'm going to use that song on Wednesday. Let me write that down. Because that song wants to come through. I don't know the words, so I can't even sing it yet. But y'all, that song goes hard. Ty, let me just write his name. I don't even know the name of it. I think it's all new everything or every, every I don't know, some everybody new. I don't know. Tibbet, Ty Tibbet, Tribbet, Tibbet, I don't know. I'll look it up later. But anyway, um, y'all might want to check that out too. Okay, a little motivational energy right there. Okay. Okay. Y'all, it's good to listen to motivational music. Okay. Um, y'all, all kinds of music. I heard a country song the other day. That mug goes so hard. It's called Same, Same, Same Asshole. Same old asshole or something like that. I think it's country. Whatever it is, y'all. I was fucking with that song. I was like, get it, dude. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> automatic writing, okay? Check that out. Automatic writing is just basically you getting a pen and piece of paper, um, you sitting down and just write whatever you hear, whatever you're thinking, just write it. Um, if you're not thinking anything at all, just write what you're hearing. Just sit in quiet and write, okay? And eventually you'll see um, that your words uh, become... They're saying your words become your own. But the thing is, what I'm really trying to say is that your words, you'll see, oh, because they're God. So your words, you'll see, you'll start to write the words of God. Okay. You'll start to write the words and will of God, the testament, uh, the declaration, the destiny as it relates to your path and journey in this life. That's what God wants to tell you about. Okay. That just came through as far as that being that detailed. Okay. Um, so check that out. 
So, oh, and then my next line says, allowing the divine to flow. Now I'm back to my notes. Automatic writing, allowing the divine to flow. Ask the trees what they want you to know. Okay, a little, ri little rhyme, a little rhythm, rhythm little, not rhythm, but a little rhyme right there. Okay, a little riddle, all right? We got a little riddle energy. What's that about, spirit? A little riddle, okay? Riddle, a little riddle, riddle me this, riddle me that, a little riddle. The divine wants to speak to you in riddles or maybe poem or poetry or spoken word or something like that. The divine is ready to like express himself through you, a fucus. Okay, a few is my no Tuesday energy you were there. I don't know if you were there on Monday. I can't remember. But anyway, um, a few kids ask the trees what they want you to know. You have a very strong connection to the earth. Every time this comes out, I mention that because I I don't know what drew me to put these leaves and acorns and it's very Virgoan. Okay, Virgoan. Virgo, y'all heard how I said that? Virgoan. <laughs> it's very Virgoan. Okay. Um, and so basically, yeah. That's the vibe, okay? That Virgoan, it's a mix of Sagittarius and Pisces, by the way. That makes it Virgoan, okay? So I feel like I need to do a Virgoan read because it's something about the Virgoan. They're like, yes, do that shit, sis. Hold up. <laughs> Virgoans, okay? The Virgoans. I don't know how to spell that. Virgoan and something, some shit. Anyway, something about that. Which is that connection or that it's that that Ophiuchus, how they say the Virgoans is that Ophiuchus Pisces and Sag mix. Damn, I might do a channel and name that motherfucker the Virgoans. <laughs> I think I might do that. That might be a thing, okay? And I just read for the Virgoans, all right? That would be the Ophiuchus, the Sagittarius, the Pisces, okay? And then the Virgoans. There'll probably be some Virgos in there, okay? But anyway, moving back into what I'm trying to tell y'all. Uh, nothing is getting past the trees. Oh, now I know where I'm at with this reading. So this is the reading. This is some notes that I made about the fact of how connected we are to the trees, um, the roots of the trees, and how much history and knowledge the trees really hold, okay? For those of you that are into that, okay? Some of y'all are like, the trees talk, they talk to you? Like, what are you talking about, Ashley? But yes, the trees, life, their life, they live, they breathe, okay? They are a living source. We have Pisces, all right? Um, and, okay, there's part of that Virgo and energy right there. Okay, but uh, they're a part of the earth. They're universal. They're universal life forms. Okay, everything on the universe it it, it has that ha, ha What are I trying to say? Basically, it has life. It's living. It's a living organism. Okay, and being that it's a living organism, it holds energy, and this energy wants to reach out to you. It wants to talk to you. It's it's like this energy. Let me tell you though, this energy is fed by the oceans, the rivers, the lakes, the streams. Okay, um, these trees is what I'm trying to say. These trees are fed. By streams of water, we know that water, uh, water is the is source energy. Okay, it's that Ace of Cups vibes. Okay, and so water is the producer of life, the bringer of life. It's the creator energy as well. So the water energy that flows into the roots of the trees that nurtures the soil. Okay, it's the vibe where if you're tapping into the tree energy, you're also tapping into that creator energy. Basically, is what they're saying. Confirmation with the little. Sulti do okay. Um, something about some old photos could be significant. Something about what time is it? Uh, 10:25 a.m. Okay. Uh, something could have occurred on December 3rd that was significant to this reading. But anyway, back to what I'm saying. Nothing's getting past the trees because they intertwine. Okay, and they all have suppled and and been nurtured um, by the creator energy and so there's a lot of life force energy that's running through the trees okay it's giving me a tree of life vibes and it's like these energies run deep and because they intertwine underneath um, and they meet at the center of the earth 
okay it's a vibe where at the center of the earth right that's where where all this knowledge is kept this wisdom um this advice and prophecy okay and it's known by uh it's known first by the sea so that's where this pisces energy is coming in okay and i feel like ophiuchus really does have the ability to tap into the energy of the earth the energy of the trees and really um get to the root to the source um, and have a really strong connection. And that's why Ophiuchuses are very healing energy to be around. Um, they're healers to be around. I feel like Ophiuchus, y'all know how I say Virgos gives me collective energy whenever I see Virgo. But it's the vibe where Ophiuchus is starting to give me chosen energy. So, okay, when I'm seeing Ophiuchus, I'm speaking to the chosen, the divine warriors, okay? Um, those that fight, all right, and honor God, all right? Not fight God, but they fight for God and honor God. They stand in fight in honor of god thank you spirit okay so let's see what other energies want to shine through we'll give this one or two more tries if nothing else comes out there's virgo there's cancer all right so we got virgo with digest and we have immerse with cancer okay anything else i don't think so so we got Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck. Let's take these right here and let's do it like this because I'm feeling the number four is significant, possibly five, and then ultimately nine. Okay, so speaking about this new cycle, my head is itching. That's what it is. Speaking about this new cycle, y'all, okay? So in this new season or in this new cycle, and we're talking about the new energy with the whole song from Ty. Wow, so there's new. So the C... The C energy wants to provide you with some sort of new new communication, but the C is ultimately who's reaching out to you. The oceans, um, that's the creator energy. The waters, the Ace of Cups energy. There's an Ace of Cups energy that's ready to like wrap around you or uh, envelop you or engulf you. Okay, um, they wanna. They want. They have. They have offerings or gifts for you. There's, I feel like you're going to be receiving offerings or gifts. Possibly a few good Sagittarius is out here. Y'all could be just celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday to any Sages or a few kisses that are in here. And then um, we have, I feel like you're going to be, something's about to make you emotional. Okay. I feel like because you're about to receive some sort of harvest. Because I'm looking at. Ophiuchus out here in that Virgoan energy, okay? And then Pisces came out to confirm that. And then we have immersing yourself in some sort of digest and it's drawing me to the wheat. The wheat is very connected to God because it's the earth energy. It's connected to the earth. It's confirming that. They want you to... Like, you could be the type that, like, checks the energy, like, um, checks the air, okay? You're like, let me see. I don't know, because that cancer energy will kind of come out a little bit, and then it'll go back in, because ultimately, they're a crab, right? And so, sometimes, they tend to um, go into that. I'm, I'm getting hermit energy. Virgo, you're here, so that makes sense. But the crab is being represented by the hermit at this time. The cancer energy is being represented by the hermit. I feel like you being in a nesting energy, you could be feeling like really being at home. So you're in that cancer energy of maybe just wanting to not necessarily be alone, but I feel like you're just enjoying home. You're enjoying being in the space of home or having a home environment. When I say a home environment, I mean the vibe of like you have the family around, you got kids around. I feel like you're enjoying, you're enjoying your, your home life. I don't know why I had to go about it that way to get to that, but we did. <laughs> but there's a vibe where, like, you're going to be enjoying more of your home life. You could be considering expanding your family at this time or your family has already expanded like for example my um one of my children i have no no biological children right but i have a lot of kids that i nurture and basically um my child came to see me yesterday one of my kids came to see me one of my sons and uh, he's 22 years old he came to see me and he spent the day with me 
And in that time, I was able to see that one, I, I saw a lot of change, a lot of change. I also saw a lot of growth, okay, wisdom. Um, I saw some gray hairs, okay, not in myself, but in him, okay? Um, and not that he has gray hair because he doesn't, but it's the vibe of like wisdom. There's wisdom coming out of him, out of his mouth. It allowed me to see that the seeds I planted in him had come to harvest. There was wheat. There was it was tangible. I seen change in my son in tangible form. And I feel like that's what's going on. We're gonna see change in, in people, in others' energies, change in energy in tangible form. Because of some seeds that you've planted that allowed you to hit your target, it allowed you to achieve or expand. I feel like it it's allowing it's that reach one, teach one energy. And I feel like that's what you've done. But you've done it whether in your family or your community or whatever. Look, soul family, right? Half our energy. Then it says, protect your energy. It says sweet success. I feel like you've been teaching or preaching to someone how to protect their energy. I would be telling my son, you know, you have to be mindful of the people that you surround yourself with. You have to be careful of who you allow in your, in your, in your space. Not everybody, how they say, everybody ain't your partner. Everybody ain't your friend. You feel me? So it's like you have to you have to use wisdom. You have to discern, right? And it's like for me, it was a, it was a blossoming moment because I saw that he's learned that he finally got it. So there's a moment where like there's something that's been finally gotten. Look, sacred medicine. Because now what he's gonna do and has done and is doing is going forth and he's speaking his truth. Because he learned his truth. There's an energy, look, expand your consciousness. There's an energy where basically, and this is falling on expand. For now, he's not limited in his thinking, but he has expanded. He's not living by the old paradigms. He's expanded. Now he can be that sacred medicine that the universe has called him to be because he can go out and he can preach or minister or share or speak or evolve or just share, like I said, his testimony. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is my son that had been shot eight times <laughs> and survived. So he has a special story, a very incredible story, and it's very powerful. And in his, it's like in his truth, he found his power because he found his story and when he found his story because he remembered it he was able to reconnect to that sacredness to the holiness now he can show others how to reconnect to that sacredness and to that holiness that's that holy ghost flow that gabbana holy flow all right we have forgive I feel like the next thing now is to work on forgiveness, forgiving himself, forgiving others, showing others how to forgive because he's learned forgiveness for himself and finding his worth. Someone has accomplished all of this or done this all with the help of you, viewer. And I feel like that's what the divine is drawing attention to. You have been able to change the lives or perspective or viewpoint of someone close to you and the divine wants you to see that acknowledge that be proud of that expand upon that notice more of that notice where you've where you've done that more acknowledge it highlight it Highlight it in your life. Look back and be like, man, what are those times that I've done this and this and that? When you do this, there's going to be an expanding of your consciousness. Because I feel like you're going to be honoring the fact that you've surrendered to God. And in your times that you have surrendered to God, you have been successful. When you gave it all over to him, when you had no other option, when you didn't know what else to do, you gave it all over to God. And in doing so, you found success. And the success is reappearing right in front of your face. It's a reflection of, of the beauty of God. Because you took the time to acknowledge God. You took the time to honor God. You took the time to show someone else how to acknowledge and honor God. Now they can do the same. It's like reach one, teach one. 
You're showing them how to forgive. You're for, through your forgiveness. So your ability, you had to have forgiven yourself at one point, right? To know forgiveness. We have, good morning, legend, the making of history. I am respected. We got the kingdom back there, the palace. We got the tree vibe, okay? In the last reading, or was it this one? Either way, we were talking about the trees. It was this one. Thank you, spirit. Okay? So it's that type of energy. They got a message for you. They have some type of reward for you. Okay, look, national recovery. They got. They want to recover. This recovery is going to cause change. I am change. Because see, what you're doing is you're recovering God's people. You're recovering his children. He's going to recover you. He's the, re it's like a redeemer energy. He is the redeemer, but it's like you're acting in his energy. You're, sh you're, you're becoming the redeemer. And so others are redeemed through you, through what you're doing. You're leading people back. You are waking up people's memory. You're allowing them to remember the old way, not this new shit that has us brainwashed, but the new way. A new way. Emotep. Continue to listen to your intuition. Continue to honor God because it's your intuition that's speaking to you. When you when, when God is speaking to you, it's your intuition. When God has you feeling the things like, I feel like I need to approach this person and say this. I feel like I need to offer this person this. I feel like I need to say this. It's God speaking through you. Continue to honor that. Continue to listen to your intuition through your spiritual ears when things get messy when things get hard right when things get tough you don't see that way out i am iconic born this way sweet success cancer you're iconic ophicus you're respected pisces you are change you're the catalyst you need to watch the reading that i did pisces titled the catalyst for change something about that reading is going to jump out at you you need to hear it we got Virgo. Whoops. I almost flipped over, but it didn't. Y'all, we're using the Affirmation Volume 1 this time. Y'all know I like to go back and forth. There we go. So, we have I Am Innovation, Virgo. So, now you're able to create new, since you've learned the sacred medicine. I feel like the sacred science Okay, the spiritual coding. You understand the laws of the Mayat. There's a lot that you break broken through because of understanding, but you only gain that understanding through the inner strength. And that inner strength energy is that God energy. You found God. You you found God and you helped somebody else find God. And now some of y'all not into that, but I'm gonna say God the creator or the divine, however you want to connect to him or her or whatever. Or whatever you want to, you know, however you want to connect, y'all do that. But this is the vibe, though. This is the vibe. So at the bottom of the deck, what do we have? We got, I am blessed, approved. So there's some approval here. You've been stamped approved. There's something that's been approved for you, I feel like, in the spiritual realm because of your works in the earthly dimension or earthly realm. Okay. You've been approved. I feel like access granted. Like you got the keys now. I'm hearing shut up and drive, 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 drive. Rihanna energy, something about Rihanna's zodiac is significant. Shut up and drive, 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 drive. I don't know. Type in Rihanna, shut up and drive on YouTube and watch the video. All right. Let's see what affirmations come out. I mean, y'all know what I meant. <laughs> okay, so we have Ophucus, rainy days, okay? Exit. So there's something that's leaving your life. There's something that you're either ending, completing, all right, letting go of, removing, removing yourself, removing them. Could be mutual, however that goes, okay, Ophucus? All right, and then we have, oh, your soul family. Your soul family, okay, hold up. So they want to tell you that, there's something that's been released out of your energy. Maybe 
confirmation. Maybe it was something that was, was the opposite of respect, which is disrespect. I feel like disrespect is being eliminated out of your energy, Ophiuchus. If somebody was disrespecting you or trying to, or someone was... Maybe, yeah, maybe somebody had a lack, a lack of respect for you. All right. I feel like that's being eliminated. 1041 on the clock. 10-5. That's changed. That's six breaks down to justice. So basically, yeah, you're receiving some sort of justice. Okay, Ophiuchus. And then Pisces here. Maybe somebody was trying to break your soul. But Pisces is like, yeah, nah, okay. You need to cut it. Okay. <laughs> you won't break my soul. It's that type of vibe. And you could be telling everybody. I feel like that's the vibe now, like of having that testimony. Like my son, he has that testimony now. It's like I've been through, I've been through the storm, I've been through the worst, and God spared me. And so basically, it's like you won't break my soul. But let me tell you, let me tell you how why I feel that way. It's like now that's your testimony. Let me tell you how and why you won't break my soul. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody here has a testimony. All right. Take it as it resonates. So then we got um, um, big league. Okay. You're in the big league now. All right, cancer. CMG. You're in the big league now. We got run this town. There's Rihanna. So it's definitely something going on. I feel like even in, in the media about Rihanna, possibly. Okay. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But um, maybe she releasing some new Fenty, whatever it's called, Fenty. Okay. I don't know. But anyway, uh, something about Rihanna is very significant. Okay. Or I feel like that's just confirmation with shut up and drive. Okay. Uh, or her zodiac sign. If I'm not mistaken, I think I think she's a Pisces, but I could be wrong. But anyway, um, let's see bottom of the deck we got higher than this yeah you up there you up there Sagittarius you up there that's the vibe you're up there forgiveness is what allowed you to be up here having the spirit of forgiveness making sure that you are are not holding people to a status or, or a um uh how do they say holding people to some level of accountability that you you are not willing to hold yourself to right or standard. That's what it is. Don't hold anybody to a standard that you're not willing to hold yourself to. Okay, so there may be some forgiveness there. <laughs> All right, spiritual belch. Confirmation. Wrong deck. <laughs> Two time. Let's see. What do we got here? Short and sweet for this reading, Divine Holy Spirit. And what time is it on the clock? 2733. Okay, let's see what's going on. Something significant about your life path number. We got spell work. I don't like that, Ophiuchus. Oh, that's what's making its exit, the disrespect. Somebody could have been disrespecting you by doing some type of spell work over you. And the divine, the ancestors want you to connect to the earth because in connecting to the earth, you're going to be dismissing the spell work. Okay? Pisces. You heard that? Because they won't break your soul, Pisces. Okay, you're in the season of recovery. That's what's going on for you. Short and sweet. Thank you. Okay, that fell over here. I feel like that's a Sagittarius message. We got couple goals. All right, Sagittarius, you could be couple goals. Okay, people could be looking up to you. They see how blessed your connection is or how blessed you are or the approvals that you're getting from even the universe. Okay, and it's like, dang, we want to be like that. Okay, so we got misery loves company, Pisces. Watch out for who the company you keep. We got ready to build, Cancer. Okay, oh yeah, Cancer, you out here in sweet success and big league energy, Cancer, you graduated. We got trust the process, Virgo. Okay, because the divine runs the town. So basically, the divine is in control. So don't ever forget that, okay, Pisces. And at the bottom of the deck, we got emotional roller coaster. All right. Um, so that's the overall energy. Okay. I did say something about the what was it? No, that was in the last reading when I talked about the masculines immersing themselves um, into uh, the, the energy of God. Okay. Like really, truly making that connection. Um, but I feel like here. Give me a minute. Let me see what I'm getting. Spell work. Misery loves company. And ready to build. Trust the process. 
So these people that were doing the spell work on you, possibly a Fucus and Pisces, if somebody was doing spell work on you, they were doing this because they were they were they were miserable. I feel like some people look at others and you know, we know this. People look at others and they envy what others have instead of trying to do the work on their inner self and then achieve uh what 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 is their destiny for themselves. Okay. Um and I feel like maybe that's that may have gone on. Now, y'all what time is it? Do I got time to do this? I kind of do. Let's see if we can get one of these to come out. Either one, whichever comes out. But I got to use the rest of those seven cards that Spirit gave me. Um, so I'm just going to do it where whatever comes out wants to be seen. And that's how we'll do it. So we have Cycle Complete. They both came out. This storm will pass. Just be patient. Okay. So this is that. And yeah. Let's get your high vibration at the bottom of the day. We got positive change. The opposite of an intuitive thought is a self-critical thought. Whenever you put yourself down or think you are not good enough, reframe the statement, okay? Uh, reframe it. For example, turn I am not good enough into what if I was good enough? Turn I'm not very smart into I am doing my best or kindness is my strength. What are some other positive statements you can think of to reframe the self-critical thought? And you know what? A lot of times we can be and are our um, mm -hmm, worst critics, right? So be careful of that energy as well. Be more forgiving of even yourself, okay? And then complain reframed. This will be on the next reading for Thursday. I'll see y'all next time. Like, share, comment, or subscribe. I love y'all. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Did I forget something? I feel like I did, but either way, y'all will get it on the next run. See y'all later. Bye.